Hey guys, welcome back. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. We're going to talk about Rainbow Bright again. It's been a while since we've we've talked about the Rainbow Bright comic book series. This is so far the only comic book series we've actually reviewed on the channel. Yeah. And the reason being it is 1980s. It is a reboot and it's a reboot that's not done terribly well. Yeah, we'll be surprised there. <laughs> So it's like, the, yay, Rainbow Bright! Ew, the comic. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so. so the Rainbow Bright comic series so far uh, has had very little to do with classic Rainbow Bright. It is a complete reimagining mm -hmm. of, of Rainbow Bright, and it's it's not something I would really say kids would be into just because it's so damn wordy. It is. It's ridiculously uh, it's, wordy. You know, now, there are some debate as to whether or not Rainbow Bright is actually canceled. Last we heard on Newsarama, um, about two months ago, they said, yes, the series was ending with issue five. Um, and this might be the case, because you look at the sales, the first issue did pretty well. Uh, did, you know, I mean, for an indie title, it did pretty well. It was like 8,000 something. Then we dropped, dropped to like 4,500, almost, half, almost wow. half, which does happen a lot with, with, you know, uh, issues, issue ones, issue twos. Right. Yeah. But I think in this case, people expected Rainbow Bright and they didn't get Rainbow Bright. There was like no Rainbow you Bright. You didn't even see Rainbow Bright. It's like last issue. Last really? page of the second issue, you saw Rainbow Bright. Yeah. And the, uh, mostly the third issue. Oh my God. So go out and, and watch our, pre we've actually been, been uh, reviewing this issue by issue. And yeah, basically it's Rainbow Bright is a girl from our world in this comic. And she spends uh, a couple pages like washing the dishes in junk. It's, it's weird. Um, and then issue three dropped again, 3,700. Uh, so now we're on issue four. Um, issue four of Rainbow Bright, and there's only one more issue that we know of, of this uh, series, and Geeky has it improved at all. No. Okay. Yeah, no, it didn't. It just gets wordier and wordier and wordier. Like, quick, we're doing bad. Make it wordier. Oh, my God. I feel like, I feel like the bottom panel there. You feel like like Twinkle. Twinkle on the bottom. This, this make is, sure you listen this time. This is Geeky's rage face right here. Uh, yeah, yeah, it sounds like me too. I'll go over this one more time. Just make sure you listen, you know? Oh sounds my like God. Me. Okay, so uh, the exposition in this comic is like ridiculous. Now this is written by Jeremy Whitley. Do not know Jeremy Whitley, and I'm not busted on Jeremy Whitley, but this comic is supposed to be for kids and it's very, very wordy. Uh, very wordy. And we're not even sure who it's for. It, it's too wordy for kids, but... He claims it's for kids. Yeah, but they've also changed Rainbow Bright so much that it's not going to make fans of the original series happy at all. This is Rainbow Bright. Yeah, they sort of tease the original Rainbow Bright, and then she's nowhere to be found. Now, even, like, look. No, no yes. <laughs> no. Yes. No. Definitely <laughs> no. No. Balls. Oh, he's, a, he's got balls. He's and a, a fanny ball, pack. So he's you. a ball chinian. Um, okay. So you're like, who's this dude? He looks like a reject from like, you know, Teen Titans or something or one of the Wonder Twins. Uh, no, this is actually Red Flare. And every time I think when he talks, I'm thinking like, yo, man. Yo, dude. I'm like, dude, bro. Um, oh my God. In Red Flare. Okay. So not only has Rainbow Bright changed uh, a lot from what she was originally and the fact that you know like her powers and all that and she's a girl from our world that gets a magic staff she doesn't even have the belt she gets a magic staff um but the color kids are nowhere to be found they have the color guard instead so red butler if you're a fan of red butler from the original rainbow bright i even knew who red butler is uh he's not in it he's not in it they've got the, like the teen titan stand-ins you know and i just don't understand why they're they're doing this but the the bigger issue is the amount the sheer amount of exposition and text in this comic. We can't go through every page. We but can't do every this page. This face, though, this face, though, this sums up pretty much everything right here. <laughs> this face sums um, up most of this book. Anyway, go ahead. So the plot of this issue, she meets one of the color kids. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Wonder Twins. I'm sorry, color guard. Uh, what is that? Is this tooth sideways? I don't know. It looks like something I shouldn't talk about. Anyway. They changed artists, too, which is weird. So the series, you know, if it's going to continue, uh, they, they changed artists. They have a different artist on this issue than they did in previous issues. Um, still the same art style, basically. Well, yeah, they're sticking to the same. Yeah, so, I mean, I'll give them that. At least it wasn't, like, a, a, a shocking difference, because a lot of times you'll pick up a comic going, oh, my God, what happened? Let's you go know? to horse rights. Okay, so... Yeah, so we got this. This is supposed to be for kids, guys. Like, I mean, and I can't even. I can't even read the text. It was like there was no space between the. It was just like blah blah blah. Yeah, like that one panel. Um, 
Blah, so blah, 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 yeah, blah. we we talked before about like would this be well first we have to talk about um, Starlight the horse is introduced in this comic right so um, I'll just go back one. Yeah, page. That's I'm a, not that's showing it. the whole thing. No, no, that, that was you're right. That okay, one. so Starlight, yeah, I know, but they're they're okay. So these lizard dudes are capturing Starlight and 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 Wisp. She's not Rainbow Bright for like 95 percent of this comic. Uh, Wisp is like like oh my god, horsey. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, the next page is the best. He's a real tucking horse, a real live tucking horse. Like, no. oh my god, we need a horse. The next page is the one. Yeah, but this is great. One. Okay, guys, so it gets better. So all she wants to do is pet the damn horse, right? She no, she's like, about riding him. Uh, she goes, I didn't say anything about riding him. I just want to add, talk to him. Wait, do you think he'd let me ride him? Do you think he'd let me ride him? And then no, my favorite here is, I'm going to ask him first. I wouldn't just ride a talking horse unless he said it was okay. I bet he's got lot, all sorts of interesting things to say about human horse relations. <laughs> okay, just to be clear. <laughs> just to be real fucking clear about what's going on here. Rainbow Bright sees a horsey, a talking horsey. She wants to ride the horsey, but she needs to ask for consent to ride the talking horse because she doesn't want to violate the talking horse's rights. And she also wants to ask the horse social justice questions. You know, that's what I do with What my car. in the actual hell? Every time I get in my car, I ask my car first and I'm allowed to enter my car because you know, I'm entering <laughs> oh my the car. Um, so I have to ask for permission before I can enter the car. Um, I've seen cars. Um, we know they have feelings. We know they have a voice. It's really wrong of me to not ask my car first. Um, so I always get permission uh, for my car before I enter it. And then, um, you know, I get it revved up and get it going. But, I, you know, we have discussions about uh, human car relations. Um, Does it hurt when I press your pedal like this? Car likes it. Car likes it. Push it harder. That's why I tell the cop and they pull me over. Oh I'm God. sorry, officer. The car just said more and more. I really like that. <laughs> Give me more gas. Give me more gas. Yeah, and, and the officer looks at me like I'm crazy. Oh my god! I'm like I had to ask him before I entered him. I'm gonna get the most out of this. <laughs> you know what I'm just um, that's a t-shirt right there. <laughs> I, I had to ask before I entered him. I'm going to get the most out of this. I can't, I can't. Get consent before entering. Always. Okay, I don't always. disagree. Okay, let me just say, I don't disagree with the idea of teaching kids to get consent. I, I, I mean, and the fact that you know you shouldn't go up to somebody and just ride somebody without consent. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> God, this is... Well, this is the problem we've seen with, you know, the situation in comics, or I mean, anime. Um, people were riding people's necks without consent. They were. Um, <laughs> we don't want Rainbow Bright to be accused of neck raping the horse. <laughs> Rainbow Gate. Yeah. Um, okay, so Rainbow Bright in, in this version, which is a complete retcon reboot, uh, reimagining. This is nothing like the 80s Rainbow Bright because she's got a magic stick now. So did you go correct her Yui on it? Yes, I was actually going to bring that up. Um, so she gets the colors from he the... Whip. <laughs> she whips her. That's the noise my car makes when I press whip. on the gas pedal. Flip me again. <clears throat> flip or when me I shut the car door. You flip no, me a long I time. I flipped you. Go ahead. Flip me off, baby. Um, okay, so so he's got a color crystal, and she absorbs the powers of... Again, this is what it looked like when I enter the car. <laughs> Sorry. Our car is red, too. Did I mention that? Oh. <laughs> Anyway. Ah, uh, new car smell. So our car isn't new car, but anyway. It's newish. It's, it's newish. Ish. So she absorbs the powers of the color guards. Now. Now she's She-Ra. Yeah, pretty much. I, look, it, look, it's flipping She-Ra. Look, no, seriously, look at me have this. Look. Got this. Shoulder, oh my God, it's yes Shira. it is. Wait, let's pull up a She-Ra picture real quick. Here we go. The skirt, the pants, biker shorts. Okay. The, the fashionable boots. Look. Shoes. We got shoes. the arm Oh my thing, god, yes it is. The V, the skirt thing, the biker shorts. It's flipping ah, Shira. Oh my god. Now this is, yeah, she's she spends more time as the red rainbow bright than she does as actual rainbow bright uh, earlier on. And and like Geeky was saying, it's very much like, um, if you're familiar with an older anime called uh, Corrector Yui. Our son loved Corrector Yui. Loved Corrector Yui. But she would basically, she had all these companions and she would absorb their powers kind of like Mega Man style. But it wasn't as fun as pre-tier. 
Oh yeah, pre tear where she actually the the they the, turn naked and they they the they men merge. would actually enter her or she would enter the men or but they whatever. would and then she'd make this like um, little eh, sat with her arm uh, under her neck yeah, and yeah. you know what was really bad funny story we're changing subject from it our son <laughs> when he was little he used to watch pre tear which I probably shouldn't let him watch pre tear but I figured you know but it was a little bit weird when he would run around the house in circles and make that little movement and say pre with me and then I had to explain to my pre parents why my son was doing that anyway but again this is an example of taking a classic 80s franchise and 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 going all magical girl on it but then turning it into something that it never was mm -hmm. you know I, I she was yeah she was never like this is fine for corrector Yui but this is not rainbow bright you know this is not rainbow bright uh these characters are not rainbow bright characters well, now she's the flash that's why now she's, she's red the flash. super speed um, we're not gonna go through my pages because yeah. I don't want to. Well, I'm not gonna do all of it, but I'm like, right, talking horse. Let's save the talking horse. Well, we could probably do like one more group without getting dang. I would you know. Well, no, let's go. I'm gonna know. I want to go. Gotta have a this. good one. We gotta. So have a she good saves page. the horse, and the horse is an a hole. Um, well, he's always been. Starlight's always been a hole. So let me see here. Like she saves the horse, and she's like, "Well, I'd appreciate help, but I don't expect uh, me to return the favor, or don't expect me to return the favor when you need to get." Bust out of prison. prison. <laughs> and it's like, you're, you're nothing like I hoped you'd be. Listen, kid, I don't even know you. I don't need your guilt trip. It's because That's it's like Twitter. It's, it's, it's because it's a white male horse. <laughs> That's right. Hope now she's crying. Hope it works out for you, Chris. He Tell the red wrong, guy. He said, keeps calling the wrong name. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know. Just just say dude lot. Goodbye, you beautiful horse. I really hate being wrong about people and horses. Don't we all? Oh my God! Cars. Uh, no, uh, Red. Uh, what's your face? Um, he says this just keeps getting better and better. No, this comic, um, does not get better and better, and it's not Rainbow Bright. Mm -mm. It's um. Now, they're supposedly in these arcs, and this was the first arc of five issues. So I'm assuming the first arc of five issues was with the with this. You know, each ish arc was going to be like hooking up with one of the color guards I'm yeah guessing. so we're talking oh my god we're talking like 40 issues so, uh, <laughs> but i don't know what's going on with it but it's um oh man and we were like so nice at the beginning we're like well it's not rainbow bright yet maybe it'll get better yeah, we maybe it'll actually, get better it'll we get tried better. to be fair again we tried to be fair on clownfish tv we tried to be fair to this comic because we're like you know what maybe they're just saying it up maybe they've got this big awesome story arc planned and then it just it just like went nowhere and now it's supposedly canceled now it could be that what they're gonna do is bring it back as another number one like okay now it's like rainbow bright green and we're gonna do five issues of that rainbow bright yellow and five know. issues of that but but given the sales are slipping here there's um, no green in rainbow bright green <laughs> there's no green clearly rainbow bright is not generating much green for dynamite um and i don't see kids picking this up as a graphic novel because no. it's too damn wordy our daughter looked at it and she loves Rainbow Bright and she's like, eh, and walked away. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it, like, I don't know who this is for. Then she went and watched YouTube. I don't know who this is for. I, I literally, because like I said, if you were going to, if you're going to beat the nostalgia drum, then you make it like the original, at least recognizable. Yeah, this you can is modernize not... something. You can modernize something and still make it feel like the original. And this doesn't even feel like the original. I mean, it's just. They only have the same characters. They, she, she doesn't have the same power. Rainbow Bright never morphed into other color characters you know it's and everything's different i mean actually the most recognizable character in the whole thing is is starlight, starlight. you know he's the most recognizable even murky and lurky they made they made uh uh murky look like a freaking nazi they did actually. they literally made murky look like a nazi you know i mean this just doesn't this i don't know who this is for can't recommend it I shelled out three ninety nine for this. Uh, yeah, I want my money back. You don't want to get our money back. I told you, better better use of your money is to go buy the original Rainbow Bright on DVD. Yeah, for like buy, ten or twelve bucks, you get or the to whole buy series. your wonderful wife original Rainbow Bright stuff. We you could know. do that. We could buy geeky some some original Rainbow Bright stuff. So yeah, Rainbow Bright will probably make a comeback at some point. This is not the comeback uh, fans were waiting for, and I don't think kids are going to care. I don't know why they keep thinking that we have to modernize something. We have to make it unrecognizable. I mean, if you just take something, you keep it mostly recognizable and update it some, I mean, some of these characters you could use, just update it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, give this guy red hair and you make him a little shorter and you know, he could be red Butler and you could just, you could I'll tell you update this. You don't have to keep changing everything for the sake of changing. Heck, even her getting the color powers. I don't even mind that so much. I don't think that's a bad idea, but everything else is just so cringy and wordy that it's just like, I, I you lost me. I mean, I don't think the hurting the color powers is a bad idea. No, that's an interesting twist, but again, it's sort of like, you know, along with the magic wand, uh, the staff, along with the transformation, the magical girl, it, it, it it's not Rainbow Bright. This is every no. other 
magical girl anime you've ever seen. Kinda, yeah. You know, um, it's not Rainbow Bright. And when they talk about, again, this is kind of like with Shira too, they talk about, you know, respecting the source material. Then I'm like, well, if you did, then why are you changing every damn thing? Yeah, that's it. You're you know? respecting and, and, you know, changing around the same thing. Yeah, and th this isn't even Red Butler. This isn't even, these aren't even the same characters. It's like, I, I don't, I don't know who this is for, you know? Um, and again, I don't know Jeremy Whitley. Um, I don't know him. Uh, I'm sure, you know, if we ever run into each other at a convention, he's he's going to be giving us a stink eye. Uh, oh, yes, okay. you know, after this. I'd be but, like, who are you again? Yeah, right. <laughs> I wouldn't know him. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't know him either. But I just don't think this works. Uh, this works for Rainbow Bright. I, I don't. I think it's, I think this is kind of into she territory where it's like you've changed it so much. It might have been okay as a different comic. Right. I think it was a different you've changed comic. it so much that it's virtually unrecognizable. Like, like, I can see this being kind of popular if it was not Rainbow Bright. Yeah. I mean, it was like a magical girl or something. Yeah. I think, you know, it could have been, if it was something else, I think it might have had a chance. Even though I still think it's too wordy, guy. I mean, for what your audience is, dude, yeah, it's, it's way too wordy. wordy. It's way wordy. Um, but I think that it could have done well if it had just been a magical girl comic and not Rainbow Bright. Yep, but we'll probably never know because I think it's getting canceled. There were some people that said, no, no, uh, they planned a bunch of story arcs. But last I heard from comic book resources, or uh, Newsarama, uh, rather, there it's 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 done. It's over. So, yeah. um, like I said, unless they just decide they're going to relaunch number one later in the year, which is possible. These publishers do that all the time. I don't know. Don't know. Don't care. <laughs> yeah, mostly, any. it's okay. After this, we're we're riding it out. We're riding it out to the end of this series. But after this, we're we're not. I don't think we're gonna bother with it anymore. No, no I don't think so either. So, is there anything else you'd like to add? Nope. There's nothing else I can add. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, please subscribe to Clownfish TV for more pop culture news, views, rants, gaming videos, art videos, and more. This has been Neon and Geeky. Bye. Goodbye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.